Hey yogis, thanks so much for joining me for today's Slow Flow Yoga for Strength. I'm Sarah and I'll be guiding you through a sequence of poses designed to slowly and mindfully build strength and tone muscle. We'll also focus on cultivating heat through the body whilst keeping our awareness on our breath. This class is perfect for all levels and you don't need any props today. So with all that said, roll out your mat and we'll begin. We're starting today's class in child's pose. Just come over long ways on the mat. Bring your knees either hip width distance apart or so a little bit wider. Bring the big toes to touch and begin to send the hips back towards the heels. I'm not too worried if the hips don't come anywhere at all near the heels. Just keep that intention, that awareness of dropping the hips down. Begin to extend the arms long on the mat as you begin to softly melt the forehead down towards the mat. Just going to take a few moments here in our child's pose. Just to bring ourselves into the class and take a moment to check in, noticing how everything feels today. Noticing any tight areas, any stress or strain. Maybe you're just waking up and the body's not quite warm yet, still feel a little bit stiff and tense. Or maybe you're at the end of the day and holding on to some tension from the day so far. Just notice. And staying in our child's pose, just going to bring our hands off the mat, bring the hands, the palms to touch, bring up onto our elbows and drop your hands back towards your head. So you bring your hands into your prayer shape, getting a nice gentle opening into the armpits and finding more space in our chest. Keeping that nice, soft, smooth breath and gently releasing the hands back down onto the mat. Beginning to look up towards the top of the mat, making our way up to tabletop, up to hands and knees. You want to take a moment here, checking your alignment. Wrists roughly in line under the shoulders, knees are roughly in line under the hips. Flowing through a few cat cows to begin to wake up the body, warming up the spine into the hips and the shoulders. As we inhale, begin to draw up the belly as you loop the shoulder blades back away from the ears, open the chest, the heart space, the gaze comes forward. And exhale, begin to round into our cat pose softly and slowly. So we're rippling the spine as you peel it coming up into cat. Feeling the shoulder blades begin to draw away from each other. And the tailbone tucks under. Inhale, slowly and mindfully open up into cow. And exhale, rounding back into cat pose. Flowing to three more at your own pace. Inhale, open forward, drop the belly, shoulder blades away from the ears. As you exhale, round. And flowing at your own pace. I'm going to try and keep our class nice and slow today to really feel each movement as we build that heat, we build that strength through the muscles. And gently coming back to normal tabletop, come into a nice flat back. I'm just going to work a little bit deep into our wrists. Some of these poses can be quite hard on the wrist, so it's nice just to open them up and find a bit of movement before we move any deeper. So from here, you can just begin to bring the right hand, so flip the palm. So the palm of the hand begins to face up towards the ceiling and you're coming back onto the back of the right hand. You need to open up and stretch out through the back of the wrist, into the hand and into the fingers. 
It's finding a little bit more movement, a little bit more space. And then gently flip the right hand back around and doing the same with the left, flipping it around upside down. Just stretching out through that hand, through the joint. And trying to press the knuckles down into the mat to find a little bit of a deeper stretch, a deeper opening. And then beginning to flip the left hand, pointing back down, spreading the fingertips nice and wide. Begin to point the right hands towards the right side of the room and point the left fingers towards the left side of the room. The fingers are pointing towards the short edges of the mat. And pressing down through the knuckles into the fingers. Maybe begin to walk. If you have the space, walk the fingertips to point towards the knees. And gently rock forward and back. Lovely. Just breathing through the opening, breathing through that stretch. Finding some movement. Finding some space, mobility into the joints. And gently we're going to begin to sit back towards our heels. But try and keep your hand planted as long as you can until you feel they need to come up off the mat slowly, slowly, slowly. And release, come back to sitting on your heels and just shake out the wrists. Maybe begin to Let's bring whatever movements, draw circles, whatever feels natural to you today. And make your way back into our tabletop. We're going to come into a side plank from here, but a supportive one to start out with. I'm going to start out nice and gently. So begin to kick the right foot over towards the right side of the room and begin to extend the left leg long on the mat. You might need to readjust where you are just to keep yourself fully and firmly planted on the mat. Ground down into the right hand. We want to spread the right fingertips nice and wide. So we're pressing down into all five fingers. We're not collapsing directly into the wrist. Inhale, begin to bring the left hand up and overhead and open through the chest, looking up towards the sky. Finding space through the body for the breath to flow, keeping that long line of energy shooting up through the heel of the left foot, up and out through the left fingertips. Neither staying here, if you feel this, this is where I need to be today. This is what I want to work on building. Or if you want to take it deeper and a bit more of a challenge, you can begin to reach the left toes off the mat. Begin to reach the hand, draw the left elbow to the left knee. Reaching back out, dropping down. Inhale, reaching up. Draw knee to elbow. Reach and extend and release. Lovely. Begin to move with your own flow nice and slowly, softly with awareness. We're not crunching, we're not collapsing in, keeping this movement nice and fluid. Release down, last one, wherever you are. Reaching up, drawing in, reaching back. Lovely, drop down. Bring your body back to your tabletop. Nice and slowly. And flow back through. A couple of rounds of our cat cow. Keeping that nice movement that we found through the body. And then when you're ready, we're going to take it to the opposite side. So beginning to kick the left foot out off the mat. Lengthen the right leg long as you inhale. Reach up and overhead with the right hand. I'm just going to twist around just so I continue to face you. Inhale, reaching through the fingertips, open through the chest. Finding that space through the body. Left fingertips are spreading nice and wide. Connect with the breath, feeling that energy. Feeling the body begin to warm up, just as we're here. Then moving into our flow. If you want to take a little bit deeper, this is where you begin to lift. Right leg or right arm a little bit higher, drawing in. 
Exhale, release back out, releasing down. Inhale, bringing them up, drawing in, release and drop. Once again, inhale, drawing in, exhale, lovely, dropping down. Last one, wherever you are, drawing elbow to knee, release and drop back down. Coming back into our tabletop, flowing into our cat cow. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, loop the shoulder blades, look forward, drop the belly. And exhale, gently round, lovely. Begin to walk the hands slightly more forward, away from you. And we tuck our toes under, lift the knees off the mat, make our way into our first downward facing dog of the practice. So this might be your first stand dog of the day. And if it is, keep the knees deeply bent, trying to find a nice long spine, sending the hips towards the back of the room and breathing into the stretch. Stretching out the spine, opening through the shoulders. Maybe begin to drop the weight into one heel at a time. Pedal out the legs. Just warming up the backs of the legs. Building that strength, that heat through the body. And coming back to stillness. Inhale, begin to float the body forward. So the shoulders begin to come over the wrists, keeping the tailbone nice and high. Belly is tucked under. And we're working through into high plank. And exhale, we're going to begin to send the weight of the body back into downward facing dog. We're going to begin to flow through those two poses. As we inhale, we bring our shoulders over our wrists into plank. And exhale, ripple the body back into down dog. Begin to find nice movement, finding nice motion. Inhale, true to plank. Exhale, into down dog. Inhale, coming true to plank. And exhale, press back into our downward facing dog. Lovely, this time, inhale, into plank. Dropping down on the knees, bringing the big toes to touch and sending the hips towards the heels. Take a moment, forehead resting onto the mat. Taking a moment just to take the weight off the wrists, allow the palms to face the sky. Maybe rolling in circles towards one direction with the wrists. And then to the opposite. Brilliant. From here, we're going to make our way back into our high plank. Begin to look up towards the top of the mat, coming back up into tabletop, tuck the toes and just stepping back into high plank. If you need to stay in low plank, working just on building that strength, you absolutely can drop the knees, loop the shoulder blades and look forward and just work here on building your strength. Great, if you're here, really good job. This is a really, really difficult pose. So be thankful that you're here. This is a great place to be. If you want to take it deeper, lift the knees, coming into high plank. From here, we're going to begin to drop knees. So either staying as you are, drop down onto your knees at any time you need to. We're going to begin to drop the right knee onto the mat. Dropping the left. And drop the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, drop. Bring the breath in. Inhale back up. Exhale, right knee drops. Inhale, back up. Exhale. Inhale, keep the breath nice and steady. Drop the left knee. Bring it back up. Drop the right. One more either side. Good job. Drop the left. Bring it back. Drop the right. Brilliant. Press into both hands wherever you are. Make your way back into your downward facing dog. 
shake through the hips again, drop into the heels one at a time and stretching through the hands. At any time, if you need to take a child's pose, if the waist just becomes a little bit too much on the wrists, these are quite intense poses, just drop down. Take a break when you need. And from here, drop down onto the knees. We're gonna to begin to come forward into a forearm plank to take the weight off the wrists. So plant your forearms down onto the mat. You could bring your hands into prayer from here, plant them down onto the mat, or interlace the fingers just to where you feel mostly supported. So wherever you are, we're gonna to begin to lift the knees off the mat, tuck the pelvis under, coming high up into our forearm plank. Brilliant if you're here, bear with it. This is a great strengthening pose. Working deep into our core, deep into our shoulders, our glutes. So like we did before in our high plank, we're gonna to begin to tap the right knee down onto the mat and lifting it back up. Tapping the left, lifting it up, bring the breath in like we did. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. And the right. And the left, nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, either side. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. Gently drop the knees, release the hands, drop the belly down, open up into Sphinx Pose. Untuck the toes, loop the shoulder blades, open the chest forward. Stay with the breath, slowing it down if you need to. And gently begin to bring one hand on top of the other and slowly release the forehead down onto the hands, shaking the hips left to right. Bring the hands either side of the shoulders, press yourself back up, going back up into our tabletop. We're going to begin to bring our right foot up towards the top of the mat, coming down into a low lunge. So you can walk the left leg back a little bit more for more space if you need to. You can keep the toes tucked under to support the knee, or if you're okay, you can untuck the toes. You can stay here with the hands high, with the fingertips high on the mat. Loop the shoulder blades back, look forward. Find space through the chest. Nice, strong legs, planting the right foot down. Inhale, looping the shoulders, look forward each breath. Keep your awareness there. If you want to take a little bit deeper, you can walk the hands up on top of the right knee and drop the hips down a little bit heavier. So you want to imagine that you're dropping the hips down and forward. So we're not just collapsing straight down, but keeping our awareness on opening forward. Inhaling and exhaling. Once again, inhale and exhale. Bring the fingertips down onto the mat. From here, we're going to begin to walk the right foot over towards the right side of the mat. So you're going to heel toe that foot over roughly hip width distance apart. Plant the left hand down onto the mat and begin to drop the hips towards the mat. Inhale, bring the right hand up and overhead so it's length and long ways on the body. You can always rest it on top of the right knee Feels a little bit more support, so whatever just feels normal for you, it doesn't matter where the right hand goes. Again, the left fingertips are nice and wide, so we're pressing down into all five fingers, trying to keep the weight off that wrist. Open through the chest, open through the shoulders, feel a lovely opening into the left side of the body. From here, if you want to take it deeper, you can stay as you are, or inhale, Reach the right hand up and overhead, begin to lift the hips off the mat. Exhale, release back down. 
Inhale, reaching up and overhead, lift the hips. Exhale, sink the hips back towards the mat. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, back down. Good job, stay with it. Inhale, reaching, stretching through the right fingertips. Exhale, soften. Once again, inhale, reach. And exhale, release. Back down, lovely. So I'm gonna to begin to bring the right hand back around. Make your way back into tabletop. So you can just drop down onto the left knee, bring the right knee back to meet the left. Flowing through, a few cat cows from here. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, around, drop the gaze. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, coming back down. So moving to the second side, I'm gonna to begin to bring the left foot up towards the top of the mat. Make your way into your low lunge. Inhale, loop the shoulder blades, find length through the spine. Sinking the hips forward and down. Bring the hands to where they want to go, resting the fingertips onto the mat or onto the top of the left knee. Stay with your breath. Find that space through the chest. Opening deep into the hip. Lovely. Bring the right hand down to the inside of the left foot. And we're gonna heel toe the left foot. Once again, over towards roughly where the hip is, as you gently drop and sink the right hip down. Staying here, open through the chest. I'll just shift my way around. Open through the chest. Lengthen wherever the arm needs to go. As you inhale, begin to reach up and overhead. Exhale, sinking. Back down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Exhale, soften back down. And again, inhale. Lovely. Exhale, soften. Good job. Bring the left hand back around. Make your way back. Big toes touching, send the hips towards the heels for a well-deserved child's pose. Flip the palms to face the sky, take a break off the wrists and take a breath. And notice what's going on inside the body as we begin to warm up, building that heat, building space. Plant both hands back onto the mat. Look towards the front. Inhale back up into tabletop. Make our way back into our downward facing dog. Plant both hands, tuck the toes under, send the hips towards the back of the room. We're gonna walk both feet up towards the top of the mat into a forward fold. So walking the feet up, and allowing the upper body just to hang heavy over the legs. Keeping the feet at least hip width distance apart. Dropping the head. Taking hold of opposite elbow. And gently rocking side to side. Beginning to shake out any tension in the shoulders and the arms as we soften through the upper body allowing any efforts to melt out of the body. Release the hands. We're going to heel toe the feet nice and wide on the mat. So maybe towards the corners. As you once again drop the waist, drop the head, take hold of opposite elbow and rock side to side. We're just rocking, we're not trying to make too much of a movement. 
seeing if this feels good. The side movements. And then releasing the grip of the elbows. You want to heel toe the feet back in, roughly hip width distance apart. And inhale, come up to halfway lift. Loop the shoulder blades back, look forward, lengthen through the spine. Opening up to the backs of the legs, finding space through the body. You just stretch it out, letting go of any of that stress, any tension, releasing out. Begin to soften back down into forward fold, heel out the feet together so they're touching. Soft bend in the knees, or maybe you need to be really deeply. It doesn't matter at all. We're just trying to stretch it all out. Bring the hands and the shins, hinge forward from the hips. Loop the shoulder blades, lengthen. We're just going a little bit deeper into the backs of the legs, into the hamstrings, up into the hips. Lovely. Begin to soften, release. Bring the fingers down onto the mat. Heel to the feet, out towards the corners. We're going to make our way into yogi squat, into malasana. So your toes might need to come off the mat. Fingertips stay planted. As we gently, with as much awareness as possible, begin to drop the hips down. Clean down into our squat. Bring your hands to the inside of the legs. Use your arms to draw the legs a little bit wider. Lengthen through the spine and lock forward. Maybe rocking side to side, find some movement. Just going to release any of that tension from today's class. We're quite deep, deep poses. Just going to release and stretch it all out. Release the hands down gently, softly. Allow the hips to come down onto the mat, hugging the knees in. Planting both feet onto the mat, bringing the hands out either side. Begin to come up into bow pose, bring the right foot off the mat and bring the left. You can keep the hands under the backs of the knees. Just if you need a little bit more, a little bit more support. Hands extended away, if you feel like you have it today. We're just gonna stay here just for a couple of breaths. Lengthen through the spine, drop the shoulders away from the ears. You can straighten both legs if you have it in your practice. Otherwise, stay with bent, bent knees today. And gently release the feet back onto the mat. And with as much awareness as possible, begin to roll down very slowly. As softly and slowly as you can. And release down. Good job. Bring the knees into the belly. Hugging in. Rocking side to side. Shaking off any tension. Lovely. From here, we're going to make our way into happy baby. So you can bring your hands to the outsides of both feet, or maybe using the peace fingers, taking hold of the big toe. Or if you feel it's a little bit too tight on the hips, you can take hold of the backs of the knees. Wherever you can get to, taking hold, drop the knees outside of the body. Drop the shoulders. You can close the eyes here. Maybe beginning to rock side to side. Gently massaging out the spine. And gently letting go of the grip. I'm going to bring the feet in together, keeping the knees falling towards the outer edges of the body. You can still take hold of the knees. Or if you can, try and take hold of the feet. And like we did in Happy Baby, dropping the weight. You need to rock side to side. Just it's a really nice massage. The lumbar spine. Rocking forward and back, side to side. 
such a nice feeling. And then once you're ready, begin to extend legs long on the mat. Extend the arms alongside the body. Tuck the shoulder blades under, palms facing towards the sky, making our way into our final resting pose into Tavasana. I'm going to leave you here today in your Shavasana. Spend as long as you can. Enjoy every moment of this wonderful pose. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again in class very soon. Namaste.